tune into Sports 360 with Hamad Siddiqui. Concentrating on the wicket keeping, uh, Arishan, who do you think will get it, Sarfraz or Rizwan? To be honest, they're both, they look, they're both, you know, it's been a while since any of them have scored any runs. Obviously, I heard Rizwan scored, Rizwan scored a few runs in the practice games that they've been playing in England, but to be honest, I don't think it'll be a big factor whoever plays. You look at Sarfraz, his test record is not great. I think, obviously, looking at two of them, Sarfraz on paper is probably the better player, but in terms of test matches, he's not been playing good. So I don't, I don't think it would be a big. I'd go with Sir Fraz personally, just because it's in England as well. But to be honest, either one of them, I don't think it'll be a big factor. So we're coming up to the Pakistan and England series at Old Trafford here, and I've got a few questions for Mohammed down here. What do you think would be the result of this series? Uh, I think, uh, I think Pakistan can. Come up with a come up with a surprise to the England attack. I think um, England are facing a pretty easy West Indies team. West Indies not that not not too good in in, in tests. So I think uh, Pakistan is a more potent attack. So our bowling can trouble them. And you know a lot. You know a lot about this Pakistan young side. Who do you think will be the key factor of the outcome of this series? It could be for England or Pakistan. Who do you think? Um, obviously, I think uh, I think that Pakistan's going to win, so it's, it's, it's going to be f- a bowler is going to win us win, win us the games. That's what I feel, and uh, it's going to be either one of Nasim Shah, Abbas, or even Sohail Khan. I think Sohail Khan's been doing good in the in the practice practice matches, so. He, he's got a, he's got a good chance. So, oh, them three, I reckon, the seam shot. He's got he's got pace, so yeah, no trouble any, anyone. Talking about the pace attack of Pakistan, what's your views on it? Are you excited about it? Did you want someone else in the squad? What what do you think about this Pakistan? I think, I think they pick, picked a good team. I think this this team can win against England. It's, it's a mixture of youngsters, and they've got a few experienced people in there as well. So they've got they've got a bigger team, so with like with the likes of Hafiz, like uh, Azhar Ali, Asa Shafi, call it them. Like Amir is in it as well, so he can help the bowlers as well, lend lend their experiences. So I think uh, it's, it's a good mix, and uh, we can we can surprise England. And uh, talking about the bowlers, in particular, the new exciting young talent of Naseem Shah and Shaheen Shah Afridi. Yeah. Do you think they can become like the two W's of before Wakar and Waseem or not? Definitely. I, I reckon so. I reckon they've, they've already shown it to be honest so far. And uh, with, with good management like they have already with Wakar and uh, or, uh, Miss Malman, I think I, I reckon they can they can be a good attack. So um, them two, they can, I reckon they can fall partnership that we'll see him yeah. Funny one. Uh, who should your first choice who would your first choice be? Rizwan or Sarfraz as the wicket keeper? Rizwan. I think Rizwan. I think I think he's 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 earned this spot. He's been performing for quite a while now and uh, personally I think Sarfraz has just been he's he's been bit below par for a long, long, long time. And uh, for that reason yeah Rizwan deserves a chance to be number one in all formats, I reckon. A lot of p- people are saying that Barbarazum will be the man of the series. Do you agree with this or do you think? He has a chance to, he's, he's, he's been good. However, in the practice matches, he's not, been, he's not been too good, he's been off the mark. But I reckon um, once the real game start, I think he, he'll, he'll, he'll up the tempo and he'll, he'll, he'll come back onto form. One final one. I know Pakistani fans are a big fan of Shahid Afridi. And yeah. how much do you miss Boom Boom? A lot, a lot. He, he, do, he doesn't miss Afridi. Afridi. I, I don't think there was a game changer like him. He could just come in straight away. Straight away, he could just go off, or he could go up. But I think he, he a match winner like him, we, we need we need one. I think I th- I personally think. Uh, Heather really, really has, that, has, that, has that attacking power. Yeah. 
Thank you very much, Mohammed, for that. Thank you for your time. And we hope Pakistan win. We have Ismail from Heat Amazing Cricket Club here, and I'm going to ask him a few questions about the Pakistan and England series. Uh, so, Ismail, what do you think about Ben Stokes, and do you think he's going to be a key player in this series? I think Ben Stokes is the best all rounder in the world at the moment, and he'll be the key wicket for Pakistan to get in this series. You know, he can bat, he can bowl, he can do everything. You know, he's seen in the Ashes last year and against West Indies, he's doing everything. So I think he's the main player that Pakistan need to focus on and need to try to get out. Hey, and there's a lot of talk about Stuart Broad and James Anderson being the, one of the all-time greats. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you think they're up there with the best or do you think they need to prove it more yet? I think 100%. Both of them have 500 plus test wickets. Um, especially in England as well, Stuart Broad been playing very good against West Indies. And Jimmy Anderson is just Jimmy Anderson. So I think them with the likes of Archer, Waltz, Sam Curran, um, Mark Wood as well, they've got a very good bowling attack and is going to struggle the Pakistani batsmen. And what do you think will be the outcome of the T20 series? Do you think that England will win comfortably or Pakistan will give them a fight to reclaim their top spot? I think Pakistan with Barbara Azam, they're, they're a very good uh, T20 side. However, I think with Jason Roy, Johnny Besto, James Vince, I think they're. England batting lineup is just very heavily stacked, and I think in that aspect they'll outscore Pakistan. Thank you, Ismail, for that, and uh, good luck in the, in your future games this season. Tune into Sports Three Hundred and Sixty with Hamad Siddiqui.